I always like if I have uh, various opinions of uh, visionary people because like then I sometimes get out of my own little bubble how I think the world will change and I get new perspectives so I'm always really bullish about talks like that because then I get motivated and come up with new ideas also for our venture. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. We always follow like three requirements that are necessary to host actually um, the infrastructure for Metaverse, which is um, at one point um, the open source. So is the code of the Metaverse open source? Secondly, who is allowed to own the content that's being created? in the metaverse should always be the owner or like the, the user of the game that uh, should be able to also um, own the content. And third actually um, is the, um, how serverless or how decentralized is the whole metaverse. I do not think that there should be centralized companies involved that make money out of selling any service in the metaverse. It should be all based on a blockchain, um, on a tokenomics uh, mechanism where then they can actually use of the token that's based on the blockchain. XR and NFTs are a great combination because they are two sides of one coin. XR on the one hand is the more intense, the front end of the metaverse, and NFTs can be so much more in the back end. They can be used for identification, for virtual asset management, licenses and so on. So I think this is also a great combination and makes for good benefits. Blockchain technology and NFT as an evolution have um, helped digital art in general to receive artistic recognition. So it's been long overdue and it's now getting part of the art market, it's also getting part of the Canaan. So it's actually it's establishing a new or an overdue art category in itself. So digital art for me is now sitting next to sculptures and paintings as physical artworks. And I don't see it as a, competitive, a competition, it's rather in extension of the art market and that has a huge influence on I guess on both worlds in general. Within that digital world you have then different items that you could uh, purchase so I would recommend anyone to uh, have like kind of like an in-store or, or some component of a store where you can buy items that you can utilize uh, within um, your metaverse and if we think about the upcoming creator economy, I would state they should give all creators solutions also to create uh, different NFTs within their uh, metaverse ecosystems. Yeah. The opportunities that come from immersive technologies um, are endless. You can use them in the context of education, uh, entertainment, you can also use it in the context of very different industries. Well, Berlin, I mean, like, is the place, you know, where diversity, where all kind of different industries are meeting and where you have lots of startups right now, more and more coming, but you also have the big companies here. So it's the perfect ecosystem, basically, to thrive, I think, innovation um, and, and collaborations. Mm -hmm.